Hello everyone, welcome to the second of my tutorials on Magic Road creation. In the first tutorial we saw how to create a Magic Road using an online route planner or using a ride that someone had ridden before. Now we're going to see how to clean up the, those data, whether it's a road that you've ridden, ridden before or whether it's a route that you've planned in Strava Route Planner or with Ride with GPS for example. We're going to use a piece of software called GPS Prune and to get that the easiest way is a quick search for GPS Prune with no spaces and the first result will be the GPS Prune web website and if you click on download on the left you'll see gpsprune.jar and you'll need Java to run this so if you search for Java you can download it from the Oracle website. I have GPS Prune already running. It initially starts off without a map view. I'm just going to drag a file in. I could use the open button here, but I'll just drag a file in and open it like that. And if you look at this file, it was made with Strava Route Planner. I'll just bring up the map just to help me help me look at it. And it all looks very good as I scoot along. And you can see points are intermittently spaced. Uh, with varying distance between them. Here Strava Route Planner has found that the popular route is not on the road so it's routed off the road and back onto the road. Just make sure it does that um, where you want it to and not where you don't want it to. If you don't want it to do there you've got two choices. You can plot again or you can just edit these points. So I can just edit these points back onto the road. But be aware that the elevation data that Strava has provided is not necessarily going to be correct if you've edited these points so that they're on a different path to the path that it has taken. I can delete points as well. So if I just delete a point there, that just smooths out that there. Um, but that wasn't really necessary. Here it's taken us off the road again. And if I scoot up, everything's looking fine until I get to this corner. And just before this corner, it's double backed on itself. And that may happen if you click on Strava, it doesn't register the click and you click again, or it may just happen. I don't really know why, but um, I can just highlight one point and I can delete it using this button here. And if we go up, we can see that this corner has a loop the loop. And if I just click on that point, I can delete it there. So you can use this move tool to um, move your points and smooth out corners if you need to. And you can use this analy analyze tool to see the exact elevation on that point. If you make a mistake, you can always go back using the back button here. So I can just go back on all of those. So this track was, turned out to be riddled with uh, errors which needed correction using GPS prune and of course the magic roads would try their best to follow these tight turns but it's not going to be a good experience for the riders. There are many other functions of GPS prune. I'll just go through one more which you wouldn't really need to use for a route that you've recorded, um, sorry, for a route that you've used with an online route planner. The density of points isn't that great, so compressing the track isn't really necessary. I can use duplicate point removal, which may be necessary because um, Ride with GPS and Strava do tend to de duplicate points. I can choose nearby points removal and just do that. Uh, and if I delete those points, you'll see here that it's really performed poorly. Uh, I'll undo that and I can compress the track again using a different algorithm. I'll use the Douglas Precker compression and that retains corners and also retains elevation changes depending on the implementation of the algorithm. If I do that here, uh, you can see it's retained the corner. It isn't a great result, so I wouldn't recommend doing this as a routine. Only do it when you, when you need to do it. And I'll come to a case when we do actually need to do it uh, later on in one of my later videos. When you do delete points like this, you are deleting elevation data. So it may smooth it by, for example, a one meter elevation change um, is a big deal if there's one meter between the points. But if there's 30 meters between the points, that's less of a big deal. So where it will smooth it, it will reduce the accuracy 
and it can make your corners a bit sharper than you would like. So I would tend to stick with what you've got, just delete um, the uh, really uh, poor points. Um, we don't have any here, but maybe we could just neaten up this turn on the roundabout, just make it a little bit more smooth. So um, again, uh, you've got to be careful here because these maps can, uh, are not going to be exactly correlated with the GPS points. And when you come to more advanced techniques, you don't want to take your um, data too far off the road. So um, I'll stop there and um, leave it at that. It's a simple program to use and it's very useful for just doing these small tidy ups that I showed you. I'll just select one there so, so you, you can see the whole ride. And uh, once you've tidied up your route like that, you can um, import it into Magic Roads at rgtcycling.com. There is another basic um, technique to assist in uh, improving your GPS uh, route, but that's in my next video tutorial. And that's going to be learning how to use GPX smoother to ensure that your elevation changes are appropriate. And here we've just tidied up the horizontal route changes. So elevation changes is the next topic. Thank you for listening.